Hello, welcome to another uh, series from me. My name remains Medical Major uh, Chile Sunday, uh, digital marketer, and a growth enthusiast, business developer. So, today we are looking at a very important topic, and as it relates to marketing and research. As we all know, the future is data driven. So, before you invest in marketing, you need to uh, use data, uh, do research via available data to decide which platforms you are going to advertise on. The platform is working in your industry, the platform that is working for your competitors to help you decide uh, what you really uh, invest in uh, in marketing or the, the, the strategy to use. For your business or if you're working as an agency for your clients and uh, you need to look at what their competitors are doing what, what they are doing right and, the, and what is giving them the results is very very important before you start burning uh, advertisement uh, budgets so you need to look at what exactly is working and then uh, how to uh, leverage on that so uh this video we're uh, going to use uh it a, a, a tool has a free and a paid version so uh it's it's a very it's very very good tool that uh, i've used and i normally teach my students that too because if you're a data marketer and you're preparing a proposal for your client you want to show them what your competitors are currently doing what they are getting right what you can leverage on and the gaps in your what they are currently doing and how you can leverage on that those gaps to boost their brand to capitalize on that to uh, to look up whatever it is that they are doing or whatever it's they are doing right you can also go ahead to uh, implement that for them so this also covers um, uh, references apps and website too first majorly on the website too Let's kick off. Uh, we'll be using similarweb.com. So I go to dot similarweb.com. So I mentioned that it has a paid version for more detailed reports. You can see the pricing structure here. It's loading pricing guide so it's free to some extent and for the enterprise version you can talk to uh, a consultant to so eBay Google Microsoft Omnicom the big companies are actually using uh, similar web for their marketing uh, research the traffic research so the solutions they have solutions for marketing research sales uh just talk about investors so too many things by the they offer for retail travel agencies consumer goods publishing and they also have apis uh, that can help you achieve that so but our concern is majorly uh analysis so i will dive dive straight into that so marketing intelligence, so they have their value uh, proposition. So looking at, uh, so let's just take for example, if we want to uh, consult for an e-commerce company that is trying to come up in our locality, I'm using Nigeria as an example, we know we have companies like Conga already, we have companies like Junior existing already, so we can just uh, do an analysis of these companies to see what they are doing well, to see how, how, how they are faring. Let me just go to Jumia, jumia.com.ng. So it pops it up, click. So it's loading 
the analysis page for Junior. And it has some basic data about the company. EF Junior was founded, headquarters, and the related mobile apps. So you can see the mobile apps that uh, Jumia has. And they are submitted employees. So this data also can be used. <clears throat> okay, I'm gone. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, if I wanted to just um, check the other app that they have, but that's not our focus. So, like I was saying, I see the screenshot of their website on web and on mobile. So, it's a global rank of Jumia website. It's a country rank. So, Jumia is ranked number 10 in Nigeria. And in the e commerce category, Jumia is ranked number 115. So, looking at traffic overview, so you see that if you know uh, about um, analytics very well, Google Analytics is a very strong tool, free tool that web owners install on their website to uh, really to track visits, to track the audience, uh, to track the bounce rate, and so many things, traffic sources, so many things on their website. But if you are uh, have a website or your client has a website and you're not tracking, you can't monitor what is working as, as a data marketer. You need to be able to monitor what is working, what is bringing in the result, how you're getting the traffic, and leverage on that and see if your campaigns are using results or not. And if you, you use your analytics very well, you, you see that you, the, one, the method you are using, the channel you are using is not working, then you know how you, know that you need to switch to uh, another channel. So this result is referencing last month's results, September 29th. Um, uh, the, the results, so because it's saying site owner has connected Google Analytics account. So, see, this is the data we are looking at now currently is Google Analytics data from Jumia. So, we can also leverage on similar web data. So, the results we are seeing now is based on similar web data. But I want us to uh, look at Google Analytics data. So now, from Google Analytics data, so it's measured by Google Analytics. So it's giving you an insight into Junior's analytics. You understand? So this is supposed to be an information that is um, 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 accessible by the owner or the admin of the site, but you are having, you can have access to whatever is going on on your website. So this is very very key tool. The free tool, it has a lot of advantages in compared to paying. For the two, there's also a free Chrome extension that when you install, you can get direct insight. So let's look at this. As of September 2019, we see that Junior has a total of 12.23 million visits. Total visits. You can see the trend in April, it was 12.8 million. It came down in May to 12.15. It went up again. So you can see the trend. So monthly visits, 12 million. And you can see that it's dropping. He dropped by 7.75%. Uh, so the average time spent on Jumia uh, website by um, the visitors, 4 minutes, 50 seconds. Uh, the pages that they visited uh, per visit, 6 pages. The bounce rate, 43.53%. Uh, so it means that out of, um, uh, let's say out of 100 people, 43 uh, people left without doing much on the side that's just the literal thing so bounce rate measures the rate at which people just visit your site and leave without doing anything you understand so we can say 43 people or 44 people just visited junior and left without doing anything so i might be for various reasons the bounce rate can be affected by the speed at which the site loads and the ability for the, your visit, site visitors, potential customers, to find what they are looking for. So if you have an e-commerce site and it's not properly um, uh, optimized, so people can't find what they're looking for, you, the categories are not well defined, you might find people just leaving without spending much time on the site. Or so now looking at traffic by country, so this is another very important data. So not only Nigerians 
This is Jumia You can see Nigeria 86%. The Nigerian traffic is dropping. The Chinese traffic 2.72% is increasing. So I'll tell you why. So Jumia partner with Chinese uh, merchants to sell directly on Jumia. We have Jumia Global, so that's why I say that. That means more traffic from China. The United States, Jumia uh, went public at the New York Stock Exchange. So uh, you see, this tra traffic is dropped by 12% from US, UK to increasing by a whooping 42%. Ghana also increasing by 80%. So there are other more countries. So these things are when you pay for the premium enterprise version of similar way. So if you are looking at um, um, targeting countries outside Nigeria, these are the top countries that Jumia has traffic from. So you know, uh, get information. So this is very key traffic sources. Traffic sources. So how do people access Jumia? So the traffic sources. How are people getting to Jumia? So we see that fifty one percent of uh, fifty one percent some percent of the visits that uh, Jumia gets is directly. So people that just um, type jumia.com.ng directly. And then one point five eight percent is from referrals. So maybe their their sites, their links, or maybe affiliate links where I will put on their website or their blogs. So this. And people get to Jumia via and the links of Jumia on different uh, websites. So, it shows that 27.86% of those that visit Jumia are from search. So, we know that Google is a major search engine, Google, Bing, and the rest of them. So, Google majorly Google search for items and they are redirected from uh, Jumia when Jumia results pop up. And also, they also search engine marketing too, also have a part to play in this. Then social, so social media, 4.35% of those that visit Jumia visit from social media. Then 5% uh, are from their email. So if you know e-commerce very well, email marketing is very key because you can sh share images, you can share products uh, via email to your subscribers, your customers. So it means that 5% of those that visit Jumia have clicked through the emails sent to them by Jumia. Then 9.39% are from display advertisement. So you know that e-commerce entails more of uh, retargeting and the uh, banner ad going to really see the products that they are purchasing. So this is, tells you how Jumia is fair, how people are getting to Jumia. So you can see that people, because they have um, been around for like seven years, more, most people have known about them. So like more than half, a, bit, a little bit above half of those that visit Jumia already know the brand, you know the URL, and visit directly. So uh, then search is next, search is the next big fish. So uh, doing SEM, doing SEO, SEO search engine optimization, very key for e commerce and also display email, social media also is very key. So I told you about um, referral. So uh, so this is, uh, these are the referral sources. Uh, this site directs people to Jumia. Jumia by Arsenage also, then ACL services, the Niger Tech Guide is a blog, a tech blog, and they have links of Jumia on their blog. So people are really coming from Niger a tech blog and group.jumia.com. So that's another um, domain of Jumia sending people here. So where are people going from uh, Jumia website? So you see package tracker, then you see secure five um, servers. Then accounts, uh, the Jumia web page that interswitch. So people are paying online via Jumia, via interswitch. So face, they also go to Facebook from Jumia. And this is 54 more destinations. This is more sources that are referring people to Jumia. So for example, now you might want to partner with this Nigeria Tech Guide guy to feature your client or your 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 site on this site on this uh, blog. Then the search will tell you that. <coughs> From this result, 27% of the people that visit Jumia, 27% are from um, search. So you can see this is SEO, organic search, search engine optimization, and this is SEM, paid search. So these uh, are the uh, organic keywords that we are not paying for. Jumia is not paying for them, that is bringing traffic to. So out of this 27.86% traffic to Jumia that is from search, 75% of it 
is from organic. The consumer is not paying for them. That's their their SEO is top notch, and they are paying for twenty five point four five of this via um, Google search engine marketing. So that's the, the difference now. So uh, the keyword organic keyword junior going to two percent traffic. Jumia Nigeria two percent traffic is even dropping now. Until the Kubitis Air Matras zero point seven percent. Jumia Pay in Nigeria Blender zero point four six ten. Looking at this top five out of so Jumia has ten thousand four hundred seventy nine keywords that are driving traffic. So a lot of SEO has gone into Jumia. So their search is more from more of SEO than paid. You can see the pie chart here. So they have eighty two keywords that they are paying for. Yes, yeah, so you see by monopolies 2.31 percent Jumia, 2.2 percent uh, my 90. So this is a uh, is a Xiaomi phone, so this is a USB to LAN, so 2.1 percent wood flooring UK. So these are the things that a uh, keyword that Jumia uh, is paying for. So 82 of them currently. So let's see more uh, results. Then social media 4.35 percent from social media. So how is it spread? So, 50, half more than half of this social media traffic is from Facebook. So, that means Jumia is doing well on Facebook. So, if you have a client or have a business, uh, it's e commerce related, you know how to learn some things from here. Then, YouTube too, 21%. WhatsApp web, so that means Jumia is interacting with their customer via WhatsApp web. Then, uh, Twitter. Okay, so, they are, they are, so, you can see between, they are doing web very well on Facebook. Uh, they're not doing much on Twitter. They're not doing much on Instagram. So you can leverage this to also close the gap there. So from display advertisement, 9% that we saw above. So it means that they are running adverts, uh, display advert, banner advert. So you can see the top publishers. So Jumia's uh, display banners appear more on uh, Mail or Yahoo, Yahoo Mail, on Soccer24.com, on LiveScore.com, Punch, and on YouTube also. So you can see the top ad networks that Jumia is using. So this gives you a lot of details of about what uh, Jumia is actually doing to drive traffic. So you can see uh, the Critio. Critio is uh, a retarget. If Critio focus on retargeting, it's an ad network for retargeting. You can check them at Critio.com. Then another one again is RTB House. This is a Google Display Network, Google Ads. Then Ad Metad, Ad Supply. And so these are the ad networks that Jumia is using to drive paid traffic ppc paper click advertisement to their platform so this is just like an expo that you can really use you want to really um, look at what jumia is doing so this gives you a lot of it's free but a lot of so now who are those patronizing jumia this is audience interest so this are the, this is the demography the, the, the interest the behavior of those uh, that have seen audience interest so it talks about what's interesting for the audience so who have this jumia interested in computers electronics and technology they are also interested in programming and developer software. They are interested in finance. They are interested in news and media. So this gives you an idea of kind of people that visit um, Jumia. So definitely those are interested in computer technology are those that are interested there. Because if it is only people that are IT are tech savvy that want to order stuff online. So it gives you a clear uh, uh, view of that. If you want to um, market, uh, for an e-commerce company now. So you know the kind of people that are in the target. Those are love news and media, finance, programmers, um, you know, and software, things like that. And now, people that visit Jumia, where do they also visit? So they visit uh, Conga, an e-commerce site, GG, YouTube, Amazon, also an e-commerce site, they visit, they visit Jumia. So there are more than 2,000 websites that those are visit, similar websites that those are visit Jumia visit. Then what topics are those that uh, visit, those that visit Jumia uh, what is what topic are they interested in? Business, online, shopping, community in Nigeria, Google, internet, uh, tools, blog search, football, music, video. Those are the topics that those are visit Jumia are interested in. You can use it that to run your campaigns also. So what are, who are the competitors on similar websites? I'm looking at um, Conga.com, GG, Amazon, AliExpress, Nigeria Tech Guide. So these are the competitors similar size to Jumia. Then, retail mobile apps. Jumia has Jumia Travel, we are working up, external Jumia Travel, Jumia the um, Jumia Party, Jumia, uh, Jumia One, Jumia Food, on the iOS store, App Store, Jumia, Jumia House, Jumia Food Delivery. So you can also get, if you pay, you can get the full mobile app analysis. So this is where you can get more on the similar uh, web. So remember, we just used 
uh, Google Analytics data so you can if you want to use similar web data you can switch here you see that there will be little variation so similar will be tracking 14.47 million visits and traffic by country uh, so no much variation here so pretty much uh, the same what we talked about so now we can also do a side by side comparison let's compare you can just click compare here and then they're giving you um, their competitors similar website let's do conga so let's see how jumia versus conga are faring so you can see that in the world worldwide jumia is number 2,700 website conga has really, really dropped in 1,000 you can see that in nigeria jumia is number 10 website ranked number 10 conga is number 76 uh, Jumia is going for the e-commerce category while Conga is rather dropping. So, we're still using Google Analytics data. The yellow here is for Conga, while the blue is for Jumia. You can see the gap. The gap is so wide. Wow. So, Jumia is hitting 12 million monthly traffic. And Jumia is at 2 million. That's 10 million difference. So, it shows that Conga has really, really gone down. So, fewer people are visiting Conga. So people spend more time on Jumia than Conga. They uh, also uh, visit more pages on Jumia than they visit on Conga. The bounce rate of Jumia is lower than that of Conga. Uh, then let's look at their traffic sources. Uh, so both of them have um, neck on neck direct traffic. So they have been around for a very, very long time now. So the, the people know them, they can easily remember that you are Conga.com. So if you remember the uh, TV commercial, just uh, just sitting and say conga.com. So it's good to also project your website URL so that people can remember and relate to it. Then you can see here the referrals. More people, more sites are referring people to uh, Conga than Jumia. Search Jumia. Conga is doing more in search. S E O S E M. We want to see uh, details below. Then the social media too. Conga is very very poor. Jumia is doing better. Uh, or email, Jumia is doing more in email marketing than uh, 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 Conga. Then display, Conga is Jumia is also doing very very well, nine point three nine percent, while Conga just five point six percent. So you can see, uh, if if I'm a market, if I'm a digital marketing manager, marketing manager, or uh, I, I I work in digital marketing for Conga, I can see the gaps. I see that we are doing well in search, we are doing very very poorly in social media email marketing and display so these are the gaps that we can leverage on to boost our brand and measure up with what conga is actually doing so for the for the competitor research they try to limit we are doing um comparison try to limit what you get so we want to um, actually focus on what uh conga is doing let's get more details about conga alone so that's loaded for the 2012 both of them then they have also related mobile apps with a screenshot of their website. And then, so, so country rank 76, category rank this. Uh, so you can see 3.4 million is traffic is dropping, average time spent, uh, for pages per visit. You can see the traffic too by country. So, not every not, the traffic on, on Jumia is not Conga, sorry, is not 100% from Nigeria. Other countries will share traffic share. So, traffic sources like we have seen before, they are doing well in direct, they are doing well in search, they are doing much in, um, ref, um, in social, email, and display. Then, the Conga needs to step up. So, 2.91% uh, uh, um, referral traffic is from so Jumia. Wow, so Jumia is even referring people to Conga. Really, Amazon so from Jumia to Conga, from Amazon to Conga, from Yauta. Yauta is a price comparison site to to Conga, from Gigi to Conga, from Invoice.ng, from Invoice.ng to Conga. So 34 more sites. So from Conga, where do they go to? They go to this um, Conga site. They go to accounts of Google.com. They go to Facebook. They go to Conga P. They go to API, the WhatsApp, but, um, they use a little WhatsApp. So, search traffic at 30%. So, um, Jumia is doing well. Sorry, Conga is doing well in search traffic. So, 30% of the traffic to um, Conga is via search. 
So now, since 2.9% is organic SEO, my 37% is paid traffic. So uh, organic keywords here are 4,000 plus, while uh, Conga is paying for 69 keywords. So card ad the card agnostic tool in Nigeria, Nigerian shopping site, how strong is magnetic dot lock, optic net formula. So these are things that uh, Jumia, Conga, sorry, is paying for. So this. So organically, look at what is bringing traffic to to Conga. This is even twenty four seven percent. So Conga needs to even um, focus on this. Then from social media, too, they are not doing well. They are still leading in Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp. Then Quora too. They are doing well in Quora and Twitter. They are not even Instagram is not even more of, uh, doing well. They are not doing well on Instagram. So five point six one percent. The same mail do yahoo.com so similarly so they are doing well on either kg they're doing well on gg they are different display adverts so google, so if you look at this now conga is doing more on google ads google display network and then um, rtb house so they are not even using critio so jumia is using critio retargeting so with jumia conga is using ad brain decommission revenue so you can look at the ad networks that jumia conga is using to drive traffic so the audience pretty much the same audience as um junior uh, computer electronics finance programming software news and media then besides also visit the seller center this is for major junior merchants they also so means that people that sell on junior on conga sorry also sell on uh, uh, those that use uh, conga use junior to those that sell on conga so amazon to then what the news are they interested about Internet tools, boss of the pretty much the same thing like Kunga. So, competitor on similar side, Nigeria Price, La uh, Deal Day, Nigeria Tech Guide. So, and their website, their mobile app, sorry. Uh, so, uh, so, this is where we uh, bring our uh, our session today to a close. So, uh, I believe you have been able to learn a lot from this uh, free tool. And remember, you can use this tool for your business if you have a website and mobile apps you can also use this tool for your clients as a digital marketer to check what their competitors are currently doing and where you can leverage your ads giving you a lot of examples about what jumia is doing well and conga is not doing well and how they can close up the gap and even giving you an insight into the other ad networks that they are using if you're doing e-commerce e-commerce is more of retargeting the marketing because people need to see their items severally before they take a decision about it so this is just um how to do competitor analysis via similar or similar to the free tool there's a paid enterprise version that can give you more detailed uh, results and their data is very very uh well uh researched and they have their tools ai and machine learning tools to get this data from uh, years combined with uh, uh, google analytics and that so once again my name is medical energy the sunday i'm a digital marketer uh, from o1concept.com. Uh, we are also into uh, SMS, spoodysms.com. You can integrate our APIs for your services. You can send marketing messages on the platform. Uh, also, we do uh, bill payment too. So uh, I will drop relevant links to our products and our services. So, and hire us if you want us to do research, uh, business, or you want us to um, consult for you for growth. And also, we can also help you run campaigns on uh digital marketing channels emails facebook as uh, instagram google uh display search engine marketing and the like so i'll come your way another time so remember to subscribe so that anytime i release a new video you can get to uh be the first to know about it subscribe click the bell button share this video invite your friends to like it i hope you've learned a lot via this video yeah, come your way another time again. Thank you. My name is Sunday. You may do good for Church Day. Thanks for watching this video.